So, uh, first Oops. off, I, I, I want to apologize to anybody watching this. Uh, back in, I think it was Raids Again, I said Shin Godzilla could be put in the trash and it's fine. I would like to reverse that statement. Shin Godzilla's good. I, I rewatched it, I don't know, like two months ago now. Mm. Probably three months by the time this goes up. And I had a significantly better time. Okay. So, just wanted to put that out there. Also, spoiler warnings. I, I didn't say this for any other ones since those were older than 15 years at this point. Yeah. And this one's still relatively new. That is true. I mean, it's six years old, but... Yeah, we're, we're gonna... Five years old, I'm sorry. I, I, we're not gonna change our... Um, our quote-unquote review process uh so yeah if you want to watch shin godzilla maybe watch shin godzilla before you listen to this because we're gonna talk about the plot yeah yeah gonna get all in those shins yeah Good no, they're they're fairly meaty you <laughs> <laughs> okay see so you guys in like two hours god damn it Godzilla had some shins. He had some big fucking thighs. He had to, he had to keep himself steady. And the T-Rex arms. They didn't do much. It was more or less just hands attached to his chest. Pretty much. But he didn't need them. No, he didn't. Uh, he he kind of just... Uh, th th there was a point where it was basically just wiggling. And just uh, cutting buildings in half. Uh, it was kind of nuts. He had an aura of destruction around him. I wouldn't call it an aura. It was pretty uh, laser focused. I don't know. He walked near something. Just fucking cars everywhere. Oh, Boats. that that is true. He just kind of like... Trains. Anything that was in his way just like piled up. And he just, just like... scooped it along. Just riding a wave of vehicles it was great yeah it was um this game, uh, game. <laughs> kill me uh this movie just starts immediately and just goes i mean there's some scenes where it kind of like stops so it'll be like hey we gotta have a meeting to have a meeting we gotta have a meeting to have a meeting to have a meeting so that we can give the order who gives 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 the order to shoot the rockets. And then we gotta have a meeting about that. And we have a meeting, and it's like the rockets didn't work, so we gotta have a meeting to have the meeting to have the meeting to decide whether to use the, the, the special missiles. And then we have to decide to use the missiles, and then we have to tell the guy 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 to shoot the missiles. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can just see the same subtitles on the screen for like five minutes. It's ridiculous. Just Different people saying the same thing. Yep. No. Like, can we shoot the Godzilla? No. No. No, no, no. No, there's two random people playing piggyback. There was an old man trying to escape. <laughs> Fucking dumb. They could have killed it right then and there. They could have. He was all fleshy and gross. So, yeah, it starts off with uh, Godzilla's tail just wiggling around, uh... They think it's a new thermo new thermo vent. They're like, it's an undersea volcano, and I'm like, what undersea volcano bleeds? Yeah, it was great. And then, no one talked about the blood. That was a hoax. Mm. That didn't happen. That was teenagers. never mind the car that got drowned in blood. That was teenagers. This is fucking stupid. Anyway, so Godzilla comes ashore. Yep. Ain't got no arms. Well, the best part is, is that they held a press conference and they're like, it can't walk. It won't come on land. And a man comes up and goes, it walked. It's on land. It's on land. And he's like, oh shit. And it's like, way to look incompetent. I kind of bungled this one. But don't worry, it's safe. Don't worry, we'll scramble the helicopters. And then, and then Kamada Kun is just like flopping around. Blood's flowing everywhere. And he's just, he's, he's just, he's just kind of going in a straight line. He's just following, he's just going where the road takes him. Yeah. He, which like, is unfortunately a building. Yeah, he kind of fucking flops into a building and kills a mother and her child. 
It's very, very bad. That's what you get for listening to news conferences saying that he couldn't come come ashore. Yep. Nope. Real bad. And um, and then and then he evolves. He 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 reached. He grinded enough exp. He pushed enough cars. He smashed enough people. And he he evolved in the Charmeleon. Got then a little, little little arms came out, and he just kind of stood there. And the helicopter showed up, and I was like, "Oh boy, are we gonna have a fucking '98 helicopter fight with this Godzilla?" And they're just kind of standing there, and he's just kind of standing there. He does a Godzilla roar, which is cool. I don't remember. I don't know what this one's name is. So yeah, this one has its own name. It's something something or other. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because he's not in this form for very long. No. It's just a stare down between him and the helicopters. Like, can we fire? No, there's an old man down there. Don't. Mm. And the prime minister's like, no, we must. We must not. Never mind the fact that Godzilla is going to kill way more people. And then Godzilla's like, ah. I am hot now. The, I must take a bath. And, and, and then they, and it just kind of leaves. They're like, we did it. And I'm like, no, you didn't. And then uh, and then they show up at the destruction. And they're like... And, um... Like, they're like, we did, we did all we could. And then our main character is like, no, we fucking didn't. We sat with our thumbs up our asses and panicked about the fact that there's no precedent. There were that that phrase "no precedent" was used so much in like the first half hour. Well, yeah, cause there's no precedent for this. We don't know what to do, and it's like, well, you, you, you gotta do something. No, if we stand here, it, it's like a T Rex. It can't detect movement, or it can't see you if you stand still. Fucking stupid. So if it thinks there's nobody there, it'll just leave. I mean, to an extent, that's true, I guess. Uh, it's like when you see a bear in the wild and you're like, play dead. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, Charmeleon goes into the water and um, and they're like, we're going to find it. And they're like, we don't know where it is. And uh, our, our main character gets put in charge of a special unit to find a way to defeat God, fight a does, special Does he way. get put in charge? I thought he just kind of gathered up a whole bunch of people and said, hey! No, no, he was put in charge of a thing, and then he was like... Oh, yeah, he got promoted because he was the only one who was like, maybe it's a it's, big creature. Maybe it's a fucking marine monster. And then they're like, that's stupid. Stop making jokes. And then the tail came out of the water, and I was like, the fucking thing was gonna... Anyway... And so, uh, yeah, he gets promoted to a special thing, and he's like, just get me the craziest, uh, the, the craziest, weirdest people the mis- who are qualified that you can find, and we'll throw them all in a room. There's this man with a pink towel, and there's the weird lady who, um, analyzed the, the monster and was like, it can walk, and everyone else is like, you're crazy. And then it walked on land. And everyone was like, maybe she's not crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, and there, and it, there's a whole whole mess of people, and they're, they're all doing their research. And then uh, they're kind of working on stuff, and, uh, and then Godzilla, well, I, I think an American, a quote-unquote American shows up. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna lie, her English is so fucking bad that, um, there's no way you're convincing the American public that you're American. (laughs) It was pretty good. No, it wasn't. The, uh, one of the random guys who was supposed to be a resident of Japan spoke better English than she did. Yeah, it's fine. No, it's not. Look, you don't really learn English in America. Sure. Uh, anyway, so this lady, she, she's got, she's got an attitude and she speaks kind of aggressively and she's like, well, the U.S. will help you, but, but you gotta, you gotta share, share some of your stuff. And, and and they sort of start cooperating. And I don't remember much from this, except that they kind of make a point that they're like, they'd make a good team or whatever, the main character guy and this lady, Something about Godzilla having a 
a nuclear reactor in them. And they're like, that's impossible. And, and then, then they find a trail of radiation, like, oh, never mind. Oh, and then they figure out that he went into the water to cool himself down. And then around this time, they're like, Godzilla surfaced. And it's just, it's just Shin Godzilla. Just here he is, very large and in charge. Uh, yeah, they, uh, and, and they scramble all the helicopters and it starts plowing through buildings. And, um, and they're like, all right. Try the, try the machine gun, and it just fucking like, it just plinks off of him. Yeah, it, it like doesn't even do anything. And the like the thirty millimeter cannon from the Apaches, also does the same thing. Fucking just plinks off of him. Fire the rockets, and they and every time they're like going to the prime minister to be like, you have to approve this. I think after the third time, the prime minister's just like, fuck it, stop asking it. Use every, anything. Every weapon, even the power bombs, even the power bombs. <laughs> Thank you, Malkovich. Uh, yeah. So they fire everything, and it doesn't do jack shit for, from the from the helicopters. And they're like, "All right, now the tanks open fire," and they just kind of like fire at like crotch level to slow him down. It doesn't do that. And then the artillery fires, and then it all explodes. They're, they're, it's funny because they do a countdown while he's getting blasted in the dick. <laughs> and um, three, two, one, <laughs> on top of his head. And I'm like, they didn't Yum. do anything. <laughs> uh, and then they're like, N- all right, fine. The airplanes, uh, bring in the airplanes. Drop the real bombs. Drop, on. drop the bombs and. Oh god, it's fucking hysterical. Godzilla is so rock hard tough that the bombs literally bink <laughs> off of him and then explode. And he's like, "The fuck was that? That was weird." Yeah, no, that was fucking weird. You guys could knock that one off doesn't, anytime. Doesn't do a goddamn thing. So Godzilla gets mad, picks up a bridge, and just throws it. And smashes a few tanks. I don't think anybody actually dies. Uh, one of the tanks is crushed by the... No, but they showed inside the tank, and oh. he was just like, uh... But yeah, nothing sure, okay, really whatever. happened. If you want to be, if you wanna be enth- uh, optimistic about this, I'm sure nobody died. Totally not. Uh, and, and then they're like, alright, we have to start evacuating. Yeah, Godzilla. we ran out of ammo. We're like just, all of yeah, us. We shot everything. It didn't do anything. The U.S. is here to help. They brought in the stealth bombers, and it's like, why the stealth bombers? So They're... Godzilla couldn't see them coming. Well... I keep telling you this. <laughs> Godzilla doesn't use radar. He might. Eh. How else does he know where all the giant monsters are? Uh, I don't. Anyway, so they drop some bunker busters on him. Oh. They go in. It's kind of nuts. Like, there's a shit ton of blood, and Godzilla's like, what the fuck? And that's when he glows purple. And then his mouth opens, and his bottom jaw splits, and it starts out as smoke, and then it ignites into fire, and then it concentrates in his purple beam, and he just beams all over, and uh, manages, and then, like, fires it upward and kills one of them. One and of the stealth bombers. One of the stealth bombers. And then the other two are like, revenge? revenge. Get him from the back where he can't hit us. Re- oh payback. boy. <laughs> Prepare for payback. Payback. Yeah, Roger. Payback. <laughs> With all the fucking emotion and charm that you'd expect. It was it was literally two stealth bombers being piloted by planks of wood. It was amazing. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh... So, I would have killed for it. He's getting on boys. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been wild. No, that would have been better during a later scene. But anyway, um, they uh, the bombers drop some bombs, and then uh, our our good friend Shin Godzilla pulls out his ace in the hole. Which is that his dorsal fins can also fire lasers. You see, he was like, "Fuck that hurt." I'm not letting that happen again. No, my back will now become a weapon. And then he he blows up all the bombs and the stealth bombers and all of Tokyo and then just burns it all. 
And then finally goes, all right, I, I need to... I need to cool off. I'm going to take a two-week nap. Yep. See you guys later. Yep. Oh, oh, and in the process of this, he blows up the Prime Minister and a bunch of his cats. Yeah, the, the, they were like, we need to get out of here. And the Prime Minister was like, but I have to stay. I have to see this through. And our good guy, our, 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 our main guy, Rando Yaguchi, is all like, no, you have people to protect. You need to evacuate. Yes. Gets on a helicopter, immediately blows up. Yep, no, just takes a purple beam, like a direct purple beam, like the craziest luck possible. Just, well, but they also, uh, they also f- figured out that it can somehow detect uh, incoming things and intercept them. So, yeah. Um, anyway, now, now we in the aftermath, we get this dude to be prime minister who was just. He really wasn't, like, Prime Minister, like, ready. He was just some guy who was just like, yeah, I'm a yes man, essentially, and I'm old. Yeah, and and, and then he's like, oh, this job is hard. The noodles are all soggy. My nudes. It's very bad. My nudes are wet. Oh, no. They're all, they're all gross. What a time. And so, um, they, uh fucking main character is like really pissed off and rightfully so because um to be perfectly honest this is the fault of pretty much the entire japanese bureaucracy it's pretty freaking bad and so he he man like he starts screaming at his people and, and then guy goes you're not you when you're hungry. Or she, you're not you when you're hungry. But 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 he hands him a water bottle, so I guess he's and dehydrated. And he just holds it up on him. Yeah, just like... For like 10, 15 seconds. Yeah. It's very long. It's it's pretty good. Um, then he takes it and drinks it, and he's like, sorry, guys. And manages to get his team back together. Half of his team. Half his team. And but, get... but all the people who matter. Yeah, like... Towel uh, man. Towel man... Science lady. Yep. Guy with glasses. Yep. Maybe somebody else. Yeah, there are a few others. But uh yeah, mm. so they uh they start working again and they're and they got this fucking like I don't know how to describe it. It's it's a paper and it's got weird like mirrored letters on it and a shit ton of lines and they're like we can't fucking figure this shit out and then towel man looks at the crane and goes no 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 he flashes back because in, in the in the beginning yeah they they go on this boat yes which was uh goro maki's boat Glo- He's, yeah the glory maru or whatever he was the guy who was doing a thing i guess yeah. and there is a paper crane yes and then he flashes back to know to, to that paper crane, even though he wasn't there. I think somebody probably told him. I think that no, they took they've had pictures of when when they checked out that mm. ship. Anyway, so he's like, well, somebody's like, well, why did he put it on paper and not like data, like yeah. in a computer? Or and he's whatever. like, maybe it was supposed to be folded, and and they're just kind of staring at it, and then Tao Man like thinks about a paper crane and goes. And then and and then suddenly they folded all of these diagrams into weird random shapes, and we're half expecting them to pull out the fucking like four prong thing that you do <laughs> when you like ask a stupid question when you and, go to a slumber party. Yeah, it's a good time, and uh, they're all folding it and unfolding it, and they make a pair of airplane out of one of them. Oh, totally. And uh, and then they contact Germany and they're like, we we need we need your 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 computers, and one of the guys is like, but we have sensitive data. And then the old lady's like, what? Why don't you trust people? We'll do it. And then they run the data, and they figure it out. And they're like, the coagulant will totally work. We will freeze <clears throat> Godzilla. And uh, call and, up all the chemical companies, all of them. And then we just get one. action shots of pipes. <laughs> It's... All the chemicals inside of the pipes. No, not even the chem. Well, we don't see the chem. We just see the pipes. I know, but the there's pipes chemicals in the, in the pipes. There's pipes and tanks, and we're just like, wow, what a shot! 
and and they're just buying up all these chemicals and they're buying up all these trucks and, and, and tanks and not like like not like military tanks like tankers like, yeah and uh, and they're like we need we need an extra day we got to convince somebody to fucking install this out and then they're like well uh, china and russia probably won't listen to us so uh how about France? Yeah, we got Jean Renault on our side. Yeah, I get Philippe. And uh, so they get France to stall them out for 24 hours. And some random American dude is uh, talking with our quote unquote Japanese American. She's totally full Japanese. <laughs> um, and uh, it's like, you're risking your political career on this. You want to be president by 40, blah, 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 blah. And she. And then basically gives, like, sort of, like, secretly gives her the blessing to go forward with the plan. So a bunch of Americans help out. And uh, and our main guy gives a big, loud speech to everybody. And is like, well, some of you may die. I'm sorry. And uh, those will be acceptable losses. Your lives did matter, though. Totally. Uh, Wear and- this trash can. Or this trash bag on you. Yes. It'll protect you from the radiation, I swear. Totally. And so they, uh... He leads from... Essentially leads from the battlefield. And, uh... So, the first thing that happens... Is they send in the trains. Yes. And... I was not prepared... For the trains. And, and so the bullet trains come in... And Hit Godzilla's the, legs and, and explode. fucking explode. And they explode. And for some reason, that works. And it God's, wakes up Godzilla. And he's just like, what the actual fuck? And that's when they send in the drones. And the drones all get blown up because Godzilla starts wiggling his back lasers. And there's just this goofy-ass light show <laughs> going on. And, uh... They and, launch a lot of drones. Like, it's like, I think they're up to five waves of drones. Yeah, it's, it's insane. There's so many goddamn drones. And, um, and then they're like, detonate the bombs. And then they start dropping buildings. They start dropping office buildings on top of Godzilla. Godzilla is not prepared for the crushing weight of a nine to five job. He's not. (laughs) Nor the weight of a Monday. Oh, dude, just totally. That that was the dumbest joke. (laughs) And no one's going to get it because it's lost the time. It wasn't even lost the time. It wasn't even something we recorded. Was it? No, maybe it was. No, we totally recorded it. Okay, I it's it... probably just sitting on my PC. I thought it was a Resident Evil Six thing, but no, you're no, probably... no, yeah, no. You're the, right. This it was from Singularity. It was from Singularity. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so they bury Godzilla in some buildings, and then they and they, they authorize the use of the special crane forces. Yes, and so these these trucks come in with with. Essentially, like, extendable pipes, and they're basically pumping chemicals into Godzilla's mouth. Yeah, they're doing some dentistry. It's all the Novocaine. Yeah, and then, and they're pumping, like, 20%, and then Godzilla's like, om nom nom. Godzilla's like, this shit tastes bad. Laser. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. He does the laser thing. And And he just wipes out the special crane forces. But it's fine. Because they have multiple waves of cranes. But first, we have to trip up Godzilla again. So, we prepare more trains. (laughs) And And not just a couple. A whole lot. Like, six fucking full trains. (laughs) All filled with explosives. And And they happen to perfectly time it. Just as Godzilla is crossing the tracks... And they fucking climb up Godzilla <laughs> like a tentacle monster and explode. <laughs> These trains are amazing. I've never seen unmanned trains perform such feats. Like, okay, so this guy—they literally spider like climb up him. This Godzilla is 118 meters tall. Mm-hmm. These trains get to his face. Yeah, fucking ridiculous. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. How do you even do that? I don't know. It's what fu- are the logistics? It's fucking dumb. It's like Godzilla has train tracks on him. 
Anyway, Godzilla gets blown up by a, a shit ton of trains and falls over, and they come with even more crane things with tubes, and they're pumping more into him, and uh, they manage to get it all in, and and then he starts chewing on the hoses, and they're like, oh, that's bad, uh, that's not good, and then, and then Godzilla's turning purple again, like, oh no, is it wor- is it gonna work? And then he just turns into Mid-roar stone. Mid-roar pops into stone. Yeah, just, not quite. There is a slight transition, but it's very fast. Yeah, he just stone no no it's not it's not it's it's not (laughs) 54 levels of just instantaneous skeleton okay it's now stone no 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 no. (laughs) it's like it, it, it it's very quick but he does transition into stone like from for some reason from the face back but anyway um now we've got a permanent godzilla statue yeah, and then they they're like, we did it, and uh, oh hey, Godzilla's a radioactive special radioactive isotope has a half life of like two to three days. Twenty. Okay, whatever. And they're like, in a couple of years, it'll be safe for people to live here. I'm like, that's great. That Hooray! Doesn't, that doesn't change the fact that you have a Godzilla statue. No, it's fine. He says we'll just have to make do with the Go- Gojira we're, we're, in our we're, life. We have to learn to live with Godzilla, and I'm like, you can't live with this Godzilla. No, it's fine. He's a statue now. He's definitely not changing into his fifth form. That has zombie monsters coming out of his tail. <laughs> we forgot to mention that he can fire his laser out of his tail. Yeah, he can fire his laser out of his tail. It's really weird. His tail's weird. I hate it. I hate yeah, it. And, and now he's got fucking... Oh, and we didn't even talk about the fact that they mentioned that he could grow fucking wings. He it... could just evolve to have wings. This Godzilla it... can basically turn into King Ghidorah. This Godzilla can kind of do whatever he wants if he it's thinks basically it will the DG survive. cells. It's amazing. It's awful. <laughs> I'm glad there's no more Shin Godzilla. I wouldn't have wanted to see it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if we got a second one, it would just be, what if Godzilla became omnipotent? What if Godzilla basically turned into Destroya? He's got little minions. <laughs> it's basically just oxygen destroyers. I would actually pay to see that little tiny Shin Godzilla running back. <laughs> <laughs> just as shitty, like they're being driven. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> And then they fire, uh, they fire lasers, and people just have weird wormholes on their chests. Great. Nah, man, if they fired lasers, fucking like even smaller Shin Godzilla's would have popped out of them. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no. It. It. I'm not gonna lie. I love the design, and I love every aspect of Shin Godzilla. Up until they the the sequel stinger shows that he's basically going to spawn humanoid monsters. At that point, I'm like, I'm I'm not interested in. He stops being a, a lovable goofy lizard and he just becomes Eldritch Horror. He, like at that point, it's just not Godzilla. And um, I think that's one of the things that when the first time I watched it, that's kind of like I said, hmm, no, uh, this isn't what i want out of godzilla i want him to be a big lizard yeah now he's just weird and gross like i love the evolution into what shin godzilla is but like i don't I, i don't like him having just bullshit weird abilities like they I, I get it's Hideaki Anno, but, like, don't turn it into an angel. That's not Godzilla. That's not what we want. And Look, we, we had a Godzilla that forgot the god part of his name. Now we've got a Godzilla that forgot the Zilla part of his name. Yeah, no, it's he's great. just... Well, the weirdest part... Symmetry in motion. The weirdest part is that they mentioned that he's basically a collection of extremophiles. Yeah. The, the, the bacteria that grow around, like, uh, hydrothermal vents so it's meant to deal with like that would make sense in dealing with like high radioactive materials and shit like because extremophiles are just really 
uh, tough organisms. And so, like, I get that in a sense, but, like, just, like, and, the, and the, it was the stinger of, and then he spawns humanoid monsters that's just, <laughs> like, I'm good. I'm good with this never getting a sequel. <coughs> I can't believe you wouldn't want that. I, what's sad is that I did want it before I watched it. And then, and then you went, oh. Oh. Oh, no. That's not where I want this to go. Because, uh, yeah. But, I mean, well, it was cool, though, because the, the secret weird scientist basically created Godzilla, so that's fun. It's a good time for everybody. Clearly. Do what you want to do. That's the life lesson to take away from this. What a fucking idiot. Sometimes you just make a giant monster. It's, he's, it's he's fine. He's basically anti Sarazawa. He was just like, oops, I made a Godzilla. Have fun. Well, I was close to death anyway, so. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> this ain't my problem. Look, I'm, I, I made a fucking... Well, mm, I don't know. The, the origin of this Godzilla is nebulous, but it, it's pretty fucking ridiculous and so yeah uh <clears throat> want to throw numbers at it yeah i guess you're not prepared for numbers are you let's find out did i create shin godzilla no goromaki did that that's all i meant <laughs> why am i getting kotaku shin um okay where is it Um, <laughs> did I do it? Hell yeah, I am prepared. Good job, Pass Phil. Good job. Yeah, I know. All right, so monster combat. Okay, what in this movie constitutes monster combat? Uh, all the moves that Godzilla did, like pushing the cars and pushing the boats <laughs> and throwing a bridge and 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 humping a building and uh and the beams and bleeding everywhere and the beams the light shows the laser the laser shows was pretty fun and and just like and the trains the trains count those were totally sentient and you could not convince me otherwise oh lord those fucking trains um yeah. Um, I don't know. Despite him not having anything to actually fight, I'd still give it like a seven. Because I think... I, I, I think the, the... The scale of like the beams and shit was, was there. No, oh, it was... It's it's in contention for the strongest beam in the series. At the moment. Okay. I don't know. I'd honestly give it maybe a six. All right, then give it a six. Visual effects. They were very good. Sometimes. No, they were very no, good no, most no. of the time. There, there were some CG shots that were shit. I gotta tell you, the whole thing was CG. Oh, I know. But there were some CG shots that were garbage. Yeah, but they weren't like 2,000 garbage. They reminded me of Parasite Eve, a game on the PS1. Yeah, which was well regarded, and people like that. Like 20 years ago. Hey, it's fine. Anyway, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly thinking like an 8. Because Godzilla looked very good. Th there were some shots of shit Th that looked like That's shit. why I'm saying an 8. I'm not calling it perfect, I'm just saying it looked very good. Okay, fine. <laughs> And well, the beams! Yes, I know the beams. <laughs> the beams were amazing. As long as they didn't zoom in on Godzilla, because it seemed like Godzilla had a set resolution. When they got too close to Shin Godzilla, he looked like garbage. Yeah, I was paying attention to that. Anyway, plot. I, I'm not gonna lie. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I think the pacing was really good, and... Like, the downtime was perfect, but it was, like, it still held tension, despite the fact that it was literally people just sitting at computers. Um, like, 
it's really weird to have a, a movie actually make a bunch of nerds sitting at computers be actually interesting. Yeah. Like, uh, so much of this movie is just a bunch of nerds just doing stuff. Like origami. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. Uh, it's probably one of the, the better plots we've seen, so at least a nine, I think. Yeah, I'd say so. Acting. So, I would say the acting was 110% on point, except when the lady spoke English. Yeah, but that's not acting. Yes, it is. That's dumb. That's definitely the dub right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not dub. That wasn't dubbed. I <laughs> wish it was dubbed. Then I would, then I could pretend she was an American. Well, if you had closed your eyes, you would have seen an American there. No! You would have, you would have seen the vision of, like, Obama there when she was speaking. No. No, she sucked. Okay, but everybody else was really good. Everyone else was amazing. Like, the acting was on point. It was good. Ever, like, people had distinct personalities. Yeah, like the man in his soggy noodles. Yeah. He was a cool guy. I forgot his name. Well, I know his fucking name. This is the agriculture something or other. Yeah. This one's also probably a nine. Yeah, I'm gonna probably go with that. There was no dub. There was English in it, though. It wasn't dubbed. Dang. Special mention. Oh, uh, so this isn't really a contender for special mention, but I know we didn't bring it up at oh, all. Oh, yeah. So after the, 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 the prime minister and the cabinet get exploded, our guy Rando Yaguchi gets a title. It is Cabinet Minister of State for Special Missions, Giant Unidentified Creature, Unified Response Task Force, HQ Bureau Chief, and Deputy Director. <laughs> it It is a block. It is, it is a rectangular, a, a vertical, a it, vertically tall rectangular block of text. It is five lines long. It is the most ridiculous. It is. It, it, it almost took a... It almost went halfway down the screen. It was insane. Let me, let me, okay, maybe like a quarter. But No, it's it's more than a quarter. Jesus Christ. It, it's probably about maybe 35%. It's, you, you can look at it. Yeah, no, it's... It, it's reaching for 50% of the screen. It is insane. It is closing in on him. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, yeah, so... All right. I mean, my personal pick goes to the fucking trains. Oh, God, the fucking trains. The, like... Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> Go figure, we pick the thing that explodes. <laughs> I mean... What else could it have been? <laughs> Train bombs. Because, okay, so in a movie that's, like, trying to be serious and trying to be taken seriously, that these is... fucking trains come out of nowhere. Yeah, no, uh, they, like, because, because, but you have to remember, they, 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 they almost foreshadowed our train bombs, because there is a point where Godzilla kicks a train, and yeah. it's just fucking flying. <laughs> yeah, you get to see the fucking... Like, it's completely goofy and stupid. <laughs> And it's like, no, these trains can fly. Keep that in mind for later. <laughs> it's subtle. It's fucking Somehow. Subtle. I wouldn't call it subtle. It's about as subtle as a brick. It's about as subtle as a train bomb. <laughs> <laughs> a sentient climbing train bomb. Oh, God, if you can find this scene, you have to watch it. Just they fucking climb up him. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so magical. Oh god, I don't know. Um Honestly probably a three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because there's it's... no way to give it enough points to make this a forty, but I don't know if this movie was It It wasn't as dark as GMK. 
No, no, it was. But the it, problem it, was it was trying to be more uh, rooted in reality and be much more grounded and political. And then train bombs. Yes, gotta love them. Just train out bombs. of nowhere. Gotta love them train bombs. Uh, thirty-five. You know what? That's fair. I, it still feels low. That's five points shy of being perfect. It's like our fourth place right now. Hold on. Um, okay. Fifth place, probably. Okay, so number one is the uh, Gordon. Is it? Yeah, that got like a 46. Holy shit, Jesus Christ it did. Alright, so number one is Final Wars. I'm sorry, Gordonzilla Final Wars. Uh, number two is Megalon. I know that for certain. I believe number three GMK. is GMK. I don't think anything... I don't think anything else got a 36 or higher. Let's see. Because I think Biolante got bumped to a 32. Or yeah, but we didn't... Oh, yeah, because that, that does bump up its score. It got a 33. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Um, all right, what was... Yeah, the Carnival's Revenge was 30. What was... Uh... Astro Monster was like 31, wasn't 31. it? 31, yeah. So this is our definitive number four. It was a good movie. Yeah, solid. I, I had fun. Now we have to rate this fucker. Where does he go? And we're not ranking his first forms because his first forms are weaker than Zilla. Yeah, no, they're they're nothing. They could have killed him with uh, their machine guns, but there was a man piggybacking. So, Tristar stomped, right? Like, there ain't no way Tristar's getting through this one. No, just, just fucking laser right through him. Shoa, also getting stomped. Totally. It's like... It's just like good. It's almost like twice as tall. All it's right. over twice as tall. It is. Yeah. Uh, show up, but in a robot suit. Kiryu. Oh. Um. Yeah. Bodied. Kiryu sucks. Uh, the Mac. Uh, the the Godzilla from a from the Kiryu movies. Also probably getting bodied. Yeah, I don't remember. He got thrown by Kiryu, so I'm thinking yeah. just. No. Mm. Yeah. Just. Hey, say pre Ghidorah. I'm not gonna lie. The power contained within the focus purple beam, I think, would probably just slice him in half. Power hour. Sent to the moon? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I forgot. <laughs> He's made of paper mache. Just getting punted out of here? Yeah, no, just. He would just walk into him and he'd just go, ah, and just go flying. All right, the Godzilla from Megaguirus. The one that's got knives taped to his back. And a leap. They'd break. This yeah. Godzilla is the most bulletproof Godzilla we have ever seen. Also, this Godzilla has lasers on his back, which I think trump knives. Yeah, no. Zilla Jr. <laughs> fuck, fuck Zilla Jr. <laughs> All right, the Godzilla that can go nuclear on command, 2000. Probably I, dying. <laughs> probably. I don't see going, going, burning, like, actually doing anything. Post Ghidorah. Still getting cut in half? I would love to watch it get hit with the, the, the red spiral beam and just watch it just, like, do nothing and dissipate. <laughs> and just, and then Shin just goes, Brack. <laughs> just well, no, no, there's going to be the opera with it, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's the, the whole opera that comes out when when the laser shoots. It's great. All right, Burning Godzilla. Even if it somehow resisted the purple beam, it would, it would get so much radiation, it'd probably go nuclear, and then I don't think, sh I don't think Shin's going to die to that. Shin's been proven to be pretty goddamn resilient. It took Bunker Busters and went, fuck you. Alright. The ghost of Godzilla. Do you think he will kill Godzilla a second time? <laughs> um. Because I feel like he would. Who? I, I feel like Shin would kill the ghost of Godzilla. 
Because the ghost of Godzilla kind of got blown up by, like, torpedoes from the inside. Sure, he's got the yeah. healing factor that he may or may not come back. But... Yeah, they blew him out, but he's apparently regenerating from a heart, which is kind of kind of fucked up. Yeah, but if you think about it, this Godzilla could also probably just regen from, like, small shit like a single I don't single. even I really don't even want to think about the capabilities that this Godzilla has I, I mean I'm trying to keep it away from theoretical abilities because theoretical abilities it just goes to the top well yeah except like, for maybe one <laughs> but that's also theoretical abilities oh my god like the fact that they showed it like spawning weird creatures at the end of its tail I was just like I'm I'm not in the mood for this <laughs> no one wants this so, does he beat a ghost? I mean, he's not a literal ghost. You can kill him. So, just blow out the heart. It'll be fine. I, I, I see the the purple beam going through. Pretty much. Because it immediately cleaves through buildings. It's it's not even like it plows through buildings. It, it just clean, it, it, cleanly it, cuts them in half. It's just a laser... That ju- it's it's a lightsaber, it's a fucking lightsaber, and he's got two of them. Yeah, he, he could can... just be like tail laser, go, or, or back lasers. Fuck you. Yeah, but you can't fire those forwards. True. But he can fire the tail laser. He could just do like the fucking Resident Evil like uh, laser hallway thing. Oh yeah, no, just the grid. Get fucked. Dodge through that. All right, so uh, Final Wars, vanilla Final Wars. Um, no. You don't think so? No, Final Final Wars couldn't do it. Oh, Final Wars can't win, okay. No. Alright, so now we're at a literal theoretical matchup here. <laughs> Can Gordon Zilla rewrite the plot? <laughs> Can he command the plot of Shin Godzilla to allow Shin Godzilla to die? Oh, man. Because like... he's got the Gordon aura. Yeah, the, the, the Gordon the Gordon power just just fucking I mean I mean you, you gave yeah, no, Gordon <laughs> To be fair, like Yeah, I don't I don't, I don't fucking know. Like it's we're talking about a physical power that we can see versus a a a, a pseudo like meta power it's like all, all you know you know what would happen gordon zilla would rewrite Shin Godzilla back into Kamada Kun and just blast him away. <laughs> you, you know what? You're right. He would just be like, devolve into your first form. And he just turns into a fucking tadpole or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no. And just fucking just gets blasted. And, and Shin has to obey because he's got the Gordon aura. Yeah, no. The, just the ability to launch orders at things. Okay, so. Uh, no. Can't be number one. So Shin takes second place. Because we can't let Gordon write us out of existence. <laughs> that would not be good for anybody here. Nope. All right, well, <laughs> we'll see you guys next week for anime. Yeah.